Meantime, Mexico's president is slamming some Republican lawmakers who propose sending U.S. troops into Mexico to combat the cartels. He's even going as far as starting an information campaign telling Mexicans and Hispanics in the U.S. to not vote for Republicans if that plan was to move forward. Correspondent Evan Lambert live in D.C. for us. And Evan, this is adding strain to the U.S.'s relationship with Mexico. Natasha, of course, and we wanted to take a closer look at the man running Mexico, a country dealing with cartels that can go toe to toe with the military corruption and a justice system where 95 percent of violent crimes go unpunished. As Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador blames the fentanyl crisis squarely on Americans, failing to mention the skyrocketing production of the deadly drug by cartels under his watch, News Nation wanted to know more about the politician, nicknamed AMLO, after his initials. The popular center-left president was once mayor of Mexico City. López Obrador campaigned on a hugs-not-bullets strategy to combat cartels. He emphasized social programs as a solution to the violence as homicides surpassed 30,000 for five straight years. He's also been widely criticized as unwilling to take meaningful action against cartels who are often spoken of as running key government institutions. López Obrador also shutting down almost all counter narcotics cooperation with the U.S. after he came into office. Now he's taking a stand against the suggestion that the U.S. and its military should help. We are not going to permit any foreign government to intervene in our territory much less that a foreign government's armed forces intervene. The push from some Republican lawmakers like Congressman Dan Crenshaw and Senator Lindsey Graham ramping up after the killing of two Americans likely caught in the crossfire of cartel violence last week. Graham outlined his plan on News Nation's On Balance. Well, not an invasion. You're talking about taking down drug labs, going after the leadership, probably a combination of cyber attacks a combination of drone attacks, uh, maybe manned aircraft, uh, maybe Delta Force raids. Lopez Obrador also blaming the growing fentanyl epidemic on Americans and their demand for illegal drugs, while falsely claiming fentanyl isn't produced in Mexico. U.S. officials estimate almost all fentanyl consumed in the U.S. is made there. The Mexican president's comments putting him in the hot seat for his own policies since his election in 2018. And some Republicans are suggesting that the U.S. should name cartels foreign terrorist organizations. Right now, the White House not supporting that idea. Natasha. All right. Evan Lambert, live for us in D.C. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.